Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in the middle of filming a first impressions type video with the Anastasia X Amrezy palette. And I also decided to film another first impressions video because I took a little trip to Sephora and you guys would be so surprised. Instead of buying a full size of a foundation, I actually bought a sample or I didn't buy this. I asked for a sample, which if you guys know me, doesn't happen very often. So I'm very, very excited to try this foundation out. Definitely seen mixed reviews online. I know I just watched Mel Thompson's review and she said she really didn't like it. So I am anxious. This is the Bite T120 is the shade I picked up and this is their new foundation. Now this foundation launched a couple weeks ago and they also launched a powder, some primers, and some new lip products as well as a new Agave lip mask. So I was really curious about the foundation because it's called the Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I've never really heard of micellar formula being in a foundation, so that's kind of different. I winged the color match. I didn't even swatch. The testers in my store weren't even open. They still had the little foil on them. So I just grabbed a shade and asked her for a sample. It says it's a clean, long-wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for natural flawless finish, medium coverage, natural finish, liquid for normal dry combination and oily skin. And basically I saw Mel say that she thought it applied better with a brush. So I grabbed my favorite foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Frace Brush, super affordable. This foundation is $39.50. And yeah, I don't know what to expect. I feel like Usually I'm the type of person that'll just buy the foundation I'm interested in. Um, but this time I thought I would wait and then the shade T120 is tan with warm undertone. So that's usually what I am drawn to is a warm undertone tan skin foundation. So we'll see how that goes. The other thing I wanted to mention is I had heard, I, I don't watch Sam Ravindal a lot, but I had heard that her and a few other YouTubers had been testing this foundation for some time and they'd been like sneak peeking the foundation but they didn't say what the foundation was. So a lot of Samantha Ravindal fans are really really curious about this foundation and Samantha Ravindal, she's gorgeous. I don't really think my makeup vibe is her makeup vibe. Um, she has a more natural makeup look than me so I have a feeling I won't like this but I can already tell you I bought the wrong shade. It's a little too dark for me, but that's okay. Wow, this is like really freaking orange. <laughs> this is why I need to, like in 2020, I need to just be better at color matching myself because clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, I um, did moisturize my skin with my one of my favorite foundation um, skin moisturizers. It's a CeraVe Skin Moisturizing Lotion or what? Wow, this is so orange. <laughs> mm, it doesn't really have a scent to it, but it kind of does. It's not like offensive, but... Because I'm using the brush, I feel like I'm definitely sharing it out. <laughs> wow, I should really... not kiss my foundation shade anymore. Okay, so I think I did a pretty good first layer. I can still see some of my imperfections. You can obviously see my dark circles. I do feel like it's very lightweight. It has dried down, so it's not like sitting on top of my skin. Um, obviously, I feel like the color match is very much off. I need to go like a little bit lighter. But I don't hate it. I don't know that this is my kind of foundation. I typically like a very full coverage foundation. That's just what I like and that's okay. We don't all have to like the same things. That's why different companies make different foundations. And that's why I bought a sample because I had a feeling like I would be okay. Like if I didn't have any other foundation and I had to wear this one, I wouldn't die. But if I'm wearing foundation, I prefer to have a full coverage look, so that's all there is to that. I'm gonna try a second layer. 
since I'm probably never gonna wear the sample out of the house, I'm just gonna see if we can build up some coverage. Mm, I think it's working. My discolorations are always like right around my mouth area and my nose. It does look very dewy. Maybe I would like this foundation. Maybe we'll see how long last thing it is. I do want to do a few check-ins. We'll see what happens. I don't think I've ever done a video with check-ins before, so. Okay, the second layer definitely makes me feel way dewier. I still have plenty of the sample left. So a little does go a long way. I love how dewy it is. I really, really do. I feel really like, like my skin is very healthy, but I really wish I had picked a different color. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Looks good. I don't hate it so far. Next, I want to do concealer. I did actually go into Sephora to pick up a new concealer. It's actually a concealer I've used before, but um, I wanted to pick it back up. Throw the bag away. So here is the NARS, what is this called? The Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I got the shade Caramel. I also own it in Ginger, which is medium too, and I wanted to try a darker shade, but if you guys have watched me, over the last couple of days, I've been whining about my under eyes. So I wanted to try a different shade though. So this is a whole shade darker. And I love to use this concealer with a Morphe M335 brush. I haven't used a concealer brush in a hot second. I feel like a concealer brush is the best way to use this concealer. And it's so creamy. Do you guys see a difference? I do. I see a difference in my makeup mirror. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Ooh, I like this concealer. I was gonna buy it on Ulta um, because I had a coupon, but Ulta didn't have it in store and didn't only had like some of the darker shades online. So I'm a little bit freaked out. I'm hoping NARS isn't discontinuing this because it's a bomb skis. Wow. I think that really did some camouflaging. So I really, really like how that concealer sat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set my under eyes. I'm not going to set my face because I want the foundation to be nice and glowy all day long. So we'll see what it looks like once I finish my makeup. Okay, guys. So here is the final look with my makeup all done. It is approximately 2.16 in the afternoon. So I'm going to try and check in. Let's see if I can make it every two hours or so up until... I take a shower and get to bed, which will probably be earlier than usual because I usually on the weekends will shower around 7 p.m. Whereas during the week, it's around 9 o'clock when I'm taking all my makeup off. So we'll see how it goes, but I really like how glowy and dewy this foundation looks. I was honestly expecting to hate it because I saw Mel's review and I was like, oh, it's going to be so shit, which is why I went for a sample. I'm still glad I went for the sample because obviously I picked the wrong color. I think a couple of shades down would be perfect for me. So anyway, so far everything is intact. I have a really runny nose today. So I anticipate that around the nose area is gonna be gone pretty soon here. But yeah, so far it feels really lightweight and it's all dry. So it's not gonna transfer anything. Sometimes with dewy foundations, I do find that it is very tacky, it takes a little longer to dry down, so I end up powdering over the foundation and then just adding highlighter to make it look glowy. So 
We'll see how it goes and I will be back to check in later. Bye guys. Hey guys, so I'm filming a check-in for my wear test of the Bite Beauty Supercharge Micellar Foundation. And usually I film, of course, in my makeup room, but now I'm standing in front of a window in natural daylight. And first of all, the foundation doesn't look as orange as it did in my filming room, which is comforting. I still feel like the shade is off because if you look under my chin there, you can see the colors. But um, let's see here. I'm going to bring you really close. Of course, I have a really runny nose today, so most of the foundation on my nose is gone. Um, but here, I've never shown you guys my skin this up close before. Um, but I'm in the middle of watching Jen Loves Reviews, um, interview nappy-headed Jojoba. She's so cool. I just found her channel through Jen. But yeah, you can see my eyes have been watering, so my eyeshadow's breaking up as well. But um, so far... It's wearing pretty well. I think this is supposed to be a long wearing natural finish foundation. So um, it is like 4.30 right now. And I will check back in in another two hours and see how we are doing. Hey guys, so it is 6.47 in the evening, almost 7 o'clock. And this is what my foundation looks like. Obviously it's dark outside now, so I can't use natural light. I'm just standing in our spare bathroom. So as you can see, a majority of my nose and upper lip area is missing foundation, but it's still doing pretty okay on the rest of my face. Of course, like my nose, like I said, I've been a runny nose all day today. And so um, I've been using Kleenexes all over my face, but I think for the most part, this foundation is holding up really well and I put it on at what like 216 this afternoon so we're gonna get about a good six hours of wear from this because I'm gonna probably keep it on and check back in um, around eight o'clock or so just to see how it held up and then be done but I haven't done a wear test like this ever I don't think so if you guys like this kind of video let me know if it's a foundation, I can go to Sephora and get a sample of or something like that. Or I can justify buying it for a video. We can do it. <laughs> and yeah. So I I think even the color is like grown on me. But yeah, I really am liking this foundation more than I thought I did. So that's good. Okay, guys, I am filming my last check-in for the evening. It is 8.50 p.m. Um, so it's almost nine o'clock and um, we went to the grocery store. We cooked a whole bunch of meals and I think my makeup lasted pretty well. Most of it's gone off my nose. I had such a runny nose today so um, it has gone off there and I have no lipstick on or anything like that but everything else held up pretty well. So I'm gonna be taking my makeup off and taking a shower here soon. So I just wanted to show you how everything lasted. Overall, I really like this foundation after wearing it for a couple of hours today. I think I'll use up the rest of my sample during a work day and see how it goes. Maybe I can leave some thoughts in the description box or the comment section in case I try it again before this video goes up. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I was honestly planning on not enjoying this foundation, especially after seeing Mel's video, but I had a pretty good time trying this out. She had also complained that the foundation made her itch. So I'm wondering if she's maybe allergic to something in the foundation, but yeah, I feel like for me, like it didn't emphasize anything that you know, I don't know, like texture and stuff. I think it still looks like my face is like pretty smooth and nice. And um, I'm filming on my iPhone 11. So yeah, I really like how it looks. Sometimes like my filming lights and stuff can make things look different, but I'm just sitting here in artificial light. 
I don't have my filming lights on. I'm not filming this on my fancy camera. So yeah, I think this is a pretty true um, review and kind of like a first impression of how this foundation works. So I really like it. I'll try it again. I'll let you guys know. Maybe it's something I can pick up once my low buy, no buy is over. Um, we'll see. I have a ton of foundation to finish up though. So I don't see myself buying this anytime soon, but I thought this was kind of a fun video. Let me know if you'd like to see me do more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Bye.